Hello everyone, um, I'll be discussing the use of technology in cricket with Mark Garraway, ex-England assistant coach and cricket director at Millfield School. Um, hi Mark, um, how important is the use of technology in modern cricket? Oh, it's huge now. I mean, the game's been going for 200 plus years, but I think now everybody around world sport is looking to analytics to try and drive development, performance, also to be able to see how people are going and, that, and where they're progressing and where they're regressing as well. So um, this app just enables us to do that with everything to do with batting. Um, and how do you use buttons in your day-to-day -day training sessions with your players? Well, it can vary, vary hugely across what sort of session you're trying to do, really. So if you're doing a one-to-one, -one, for example, one of the best bits of the app is the video capture. So it's linked to the fact that the, the sensor moves and it will capture only that bit of footage, whereas normally when we're capturing footage, we're capturing a whole session and you have to scroll through it. So what that does is enable the player to go back over their individual shots, have a look at the metrics that come off of the, uh, the sensor and also link it directly to the video. You mentioned about numbers, it involves a lot of statistics and data. Um, what's your take on um, uh, Smart Cricket app and what exactly do you derive um, out of it? Well, a number of things really. I think in all batting, bat path and how the bat moves and where it starts from and where it ends up is absolutely crucial. And you can go from T20 cricket, even T10 cricket, where you're striking the ball virtually as hard as you can every single ball, all the way through to the five-day game in test match cricket. If your bat path is good and if you know where your bat's coming from and where it's going to, then it gives you a better chance of having a good success, whether you're defending, whether you're attacking, whether you're trying to hit a six out of the ground. So that's one of the things that we look at all of the time is just to where that bat's coming from and what's it doing and we get to see that visually we get to see that in numbers and also the avatar shows us exactly how that bat is swinging as I drop that. Um, tell us about the evaluation and nice of the data so if you analyze the data um, has it ever influenced your decision in terms of making changes or doing, doing things differently um, um, uh, to your you know normal methods of traditional uh, cricket training? Mm, all the time is the answer to that and the reason being is that as coaches we get used to seeing what we want to see and of course the, the stats tell us otherwise so for example we're doing a lot of work nowadays on on hitting the ball hard in the 2020 game and the 100 game in England this summer and also the T10 game so backswing left length is really important the more we go back obviously the more chance we've got to generate in some power also our follow through length for keeping the blade uh, on the line of the, the path of the ball which increases uh, the chances of us being able to hit, hit it really Really hard so so those things are, are huge and we have a lot of players now that are making quite significant but very natural changes to the swing path of their bat as a result of looking at these numbers sometimes as coaches we will say right you need to lift your bat up more and it's quite a sort of mechanical thing that they go through whereas actually when they can see just next to them here the metrics coming up every single ball and if you give them a degree uh, that you want their bat swing to go to, so for example, let's say somebody, we want them to get them from 145 degrees up to 170, they can work that in increments. And often those increments don't happen um, very quickly. Uh, sorry, they happen really quickly and in big increments. But you, I've seen people increase by 30 degrees in their bat swing length. And obviously off the back of that, their power and their range and their capacity to hit the ball really hard increases. Absolutely. And when it comes to different levels of cricket, um, from professional to junior and um, club cricket, would you recommend it to certain uh, group people or um, will it be something that everyone can use uh, to improve their, their, their batting skills um, and, and, and so, so on? Well, I, I work across that very broad range myself, you know, working in the prep school with some eight and nine year olds all the way up to some international players every now and again. And there wouldn't be anybody that I wouldn't recommend it to because there's nobody out there that has that total awareness of their game in terms of the nth degree. And this is what this gives us as well. Also, everybody loves to see themselves, you know, and, and the great thing for me, I mean, we're currently out in South Africa here. I've got players playing at home and their stats are coming through to me and their vision is coming through to me and I'm on the other side of the world. So then I can start through the app to send messages back to the players and, and getting feedback from them and them getting feedback from me, even though I'm uh, in a different hemisphere. Um, as it's just a matter of few clicks um, and it can tell you, you know, your strengths and weaknesses and how you can improve, do you think it will um, attract younger players and actually um, retain them um, in, you know, uh, to stay within the sports for a longer period of time and even seek it professionally? I, I do. I, I think it's really crucial for the young players to be able to see their own progress very early because often the people that stay in the game are the ones that feel that they had a good experience. Well, actually, if you can see those numbers generating and getting better, if you can see the vision on a regular 
regular basis and you, and you know that that is meaning that you're getting better, you're likely to stay within the game. I think most people in a number of countries around the world will start playing cricket. But this type of bit of kick can actually retain people in the game. And, and that's always the biggest challenge for any sport is keeping people involved all the way through. The other thing I like about it is that players are naturally competitive. So they will compare their numbers. Now, normally in cricket, we just compare the end number, which is the amount of runs or the amount of wickets that we get. But now they can start going into real depth and start to compete with people about their bat maximum bat speed, about their shot efficiency and how consistent they are. You know, they can have a look at their weekly program and go, actually, my shot efficiency this week was 87 what was yours mate and all of a sudden that creates that interest that motivation that competition and those things are absolutely crucial in getting people into the game but more importantly retaining them in the game absolutely that's quite impressive and thank you for giving us a useful insight it was very educational for me myself and i'm sure it was for our viewers as well i made my bat smart what about you <laughs>